Hi, welcome back to our oyster farm in Bridge. We've even constructed a 3D with the help of Derners. The first thing we have to do is we have... It shows both on the Dunkellan River and the Iron Bridge Bay. Here's our... That there were six different types of seaweed. We began to wonder is it just farm seaweed and business along this shoreline? Well, Jim tells us in this book that a small egg rack is the most important collected in Ireland. Jim showed us food, health care, and products in seaweed. We decided to examine how much egg rack scofflum no dozer is found along both sides of the bay. But it's mixed up with lots of other kinds of seaweeds along the shoreline. It will be impossible to measure every single scophilum nodosum on both shorelines. I suggest you should call in Dave and from GMIT to help us. Dave taught us to estimate by sampling the standing crop of the asylum nodosum on the shoreline. We did five different points. First we marked out a rectangular zone from the high water mark to the water. It was 50 metres long. The width varied at each of the five stations. Measured and worked out the average width of the Escoffler no dozen at each of the five zones. Then we used a 50 centimetre squared quadrat and sampled the weight of the Escoffler no dozen in five random locations in each zone. I'm calling the Escoffler no dozen, which is inside the quadrat, leaving 10 centimetres behind so and grow back. We used a digital spring balance to measure the weight of each bag. These are the results of our survey. First, we worked out the average width of egg rack along the shore. The average width of each zone is indicated. The total for the five zones was 70.04 metres. The average width of the five zones is 14.00 metres approximately. So, there's approximately 14 metres of width of a scoffer zone all along the shore. Then we worked out the average weight of at each of the five zones. The total weight of the samples at each of the five zones was 4.514 kilograms. So the average was 0 0.902 kilos. This was multiplied by four because each quadrat was one quarter of a square meter. Then we worked out the total approximate weight of egg rack on the oyster shoreline. The length of the shoreline from zone 1 to zone 5 is 3,400 metres. This is multiplied by the 40 metres average width of a softener no dozen to make 47,600 square metres. This in turn is multiplied by 3.608 kilograms per square metre to make 121,740.8 kilograms. This means there are approximately 172 metric tons of Escoffler no dozen on the North Shore. And there is probably 172 metric tons.